Number one, if you saw me in public and wanted to talk to me, how would you approach me? Hey, yo, come here. So is that how you approach girls? Yeah, we're gonna call yo, come here. Number so, two. If you're looking approachable, say a little hi, ask her a day's been. Oh. Number one, why did you and your ex break up? Nah. Yeah. Number one, would you pay for me on the first date? Yeah, obviously, because it's the first date. Number two. Uh, no. You wouldn't? No. If you cheated on me, would you tell me and how would you tell me? If I cheated on you, why would I tell you? So you would keep lying to me, basically? I wouldn't lie to you, I just wouldn't bring it up. But then you not telling me is basically lying. Because you're supposed to be loyal. <laughs> Number one, if I got pregnant and told you it was your baby, what would your reaction be? Um, it's not my baby. So now, out of these two, who would you pick to go through to the next round? Out of the five questions, whose answers did you like more? And who would you eliminate for this round? I'm gonna pick... Put in a dark bitch, stop in a hard bitch, not a hard carpet, and look on a scar bitch. You're a girl bleed, my girl is cute, your girl sleeping, my girl dream. They are creeping, we are creeping, we are creeping, they are skewing. What's good, you? Welcome back to another banger video, eh? I know you read that title when you already know how we get down with these blind dates. This time we're doing 4v1. The most recent blind day I posted, which is a week ago, went crazy. 4.2k in a week, so thank you guys for that. And if you haven't watched it, link in the description. Trust me, don't miss out on that. But this time we're doing 4v1. If you don't know how this works, there's going to be four people split up into two teams of two. So there's going to be three rounds in total. One round, two people will go, one name number one, one name number two. The girl will ask them around five questions each. And depending on what they say, whichever answer she likes most, she'll pick one to go to the next round and one to get eliminated. The same thing will happen in round two. Two people will go, one name number one, number two. She'll ask them questions and whichever one she likes more, one goes to the next round, one gets eliminated. So in the final round, there's gonna be two people left and she's gonna ask them around three questions each. And in the end of that, depending on what both of them say, she's gonna pick one to win the whole thing, the other one to get eliminated. So all of these are literally blind dates. She won't see them till the very end. And at the end, I'm gonna bring them all out. And she's gonna say which one she thinks looks the best. Watch every single minute of it. Don't skip anything at all. Trust me, this video was crazy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. So I'm here with? I am. Tell them what type of guys you're into. I don't really have a type. If I vibe with people, I vibe with people. So what, more personality type? Yeah. So, and I'm gonna leave your socials in the description, but do you think you can find like your perfect guy today? Maybe. That maybe didn't really sound too convincing. That's a possibility. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna let you do your thing, but I'll catch up with you at the end. I'm going, I'm going to man them, move the man them. Shift, GH, Daddy Nice. Ben. <laughs> 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 so, so what? Who, who's the teams? Who's the teams? Is it going to be a U2 oh, thing and U2? Yeah, we'll and U2, yeah. And so who's going first? Well, go on. So what, you man, you two going first, yeah? I mean, they're going first. Saying that, but wait, you man are not even a team, bro. Who's gonna win? Yeah, so I'm gonna lose. You're gonna lose? Bro, you look like fucking little red rabbit. Can you have a bunny on? Bro, just put your hood on. Nice calm. I'm gonna show my hood on. Nah, first of all, first of all, my man is like a bad beast. I can never lose to him. Nah, then. You? Nah, maybe, maybe. You, nah. You like came fresh from jail, fam. No, we didn't do it. You like came fresh from jail. But before the video begins, I need to let you guys know about an amazing course to help you with your GCSE studies. I know a lot of you that watch me are still in school and haven't done your GCSEs yet, but trust me, this course will help out. Especially if you're struggling with English, then this course is the perfect course for you. The course literally comes with written model answers for all papers. That's English Literature Paper 1, Paper 2, and English Language Paper 1 and Paper 2. What's great about the course is that it literally goes into detailed analysis about all the English literature texts such as 
Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, Christmas Carol, Jekyll and Hyde, An Animal Farm and An Inspector Cause. I studied for some of these books in school and it would have been great to have this about when I was revising for my exam so don't miss your opportunity and make sure you check out the link in the description. This course is actually a woman's course named Barbara and she's very helpful. You can text her at any time directly and she'll definitely reply, she'll help you out. It's like having a teacher on call all the time. And the link to all of this will be down in the description below so make sure everyone goes down there and checks it out. What are you saying? Hello? Hi. Alright, yeah. yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Eat today. Sorry? Did you eat today? No, I haven't actually. Cool, yo. You're number two, you're number one. Okay. So what, no highs or nothing? Oh, we see on your right. We see on your right. Good, yeah? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. You're number two. You're yeah. number one. Cool, 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 cool. Number one, what is something you've tried sexually and will never try again? <laughs> <laughs> number one, what would you do if I got in an argument with your mum? And who are you backing? Backing my mum? Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm backing my mum. What? Where? It's my mum. Yeah, but what if she did something to me? I would talk to her on the side, but like, you know. You can't disrespect my mother. But she's disrespecting me. She's the one that's arguing with me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, okay, it's cool. I'll talk to my mom, but like, if you at least like, you know, raise your voice at her or something, like, you know, you gotta, do you know how they say you gotta respect your orders? Yeah. You have to respect your orders and like, I'll talk to my mom on the side about it. I'll tell her like, you know, what Yeah, you but I do? can't respect her. She's not gonna respect me. I'll tell her to respect you, yeah. And if she doesn't? Then there's a problem with both of you. You guys have to talk it out. Both of us, or yeah, you, you guys have to talk it out because one day, if my mom's fine, you the next day you're fine. Huh? There's a problem. Number two. Uh, depends on the situation. Think about this question properly, please. Most likely, I'll back my mom, but like, I won't back her. But I'll just like talk to her, and totally chill. But she's she's older than me, so she should be more mature about situations. So I don't know. I'll check my mom, and then I'll chat to you. And I will try to like resolve the situation here. Yeah. Mm, okay. What is one thing that I'll try searching and I'll never try again? Mm-hmm. Dare things. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> let that girl spit in my mouth. Some crazy shit. Number yeah. two. Uh, me, nothing. I don't think I regret anything I've done. Regret? Wait, what was the question again? What is something You've tried sexually and will never try again. Yeah, nothing. I'm good so far. Number one, if you saw me in public and wanted to talk to me, how would you approach me? Hey, yo, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, would you pay for me on the first date? Yeah, obviously, because it's the first date. I have to pay. I'll pay Where? first date. Where though? Where? Mm. Central? Anywhere. Do you wear Central? Go on a date. Number two. Uh, no. You wouldn't. No. Why? <laughs> Why would you go on a date with someone for the first and then pay for the first date? Because obviously let's say, you're gonna be asking me to go out with you, and I expect to you to pay for me if you're gonna ask me to come out with you. Yeah. Cool, but let's say, let's say, yeah, what, no. let's say our little talking stage fails and that I just waste the money on you, but I'll take you somewhere nice, though. Like where? I'm like, one of the fancy restaurants in like Central side. Where? There's so many restaurants in Central. You can choose, innit? No, but if you're taking me out, you're meant to surprise me. Oh, you want a surprise? What's a surprise? Oh, then, I don't know. I'll set you up in on, on that day. I don't know, man. Like, give me a second, let me check. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. <laughs> are you done? Like, where are you oh. gonna take her? I'll take, I'll take her. Oh, GBK or something, something nice like that. Really? Yeah. So is that how you approach girls? Yeah, we're really cool. Yo, come here. And then Give me your snap. What would you say after that? Give me your snap. And what? It works for you. 
Number two. Obviously, it depends how you're looking, innit? If you're looking approachable, say a little hi, ask how your day's been. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, depends how you're looking. If you're looking approachable, come say a little hi, ask your name and that, ask how your day's been, ask where you're going, and then. Got this nice, innit? What's this 21 question for? Listen, this also, guy, this guy's so wet, fam. Oh my <laughs> god. That's where you're going, then what? Obviously, get the essential deals out of the way. If you got a man in there, and if no, then I'll grab the snap in it and move on to the. How are you gonna grab a snap? This guy being serious. How are you gonna grab it? Like, yo, give me your snap. No, nah, obviously, it. incorporate into the conversation and that and ask, can I have a Snapchat? Say no. Say no. And shut. Sure. <laughs> Number one, if I was celibate, would you wait? Number one, why did you and your ex break up? Wait. <clears throat> What's the question again? Oh! Why did you and your ex break up? Nah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Sticky, just sticking, like, sticky, sticky situation. Explain. That you go into. Don't go too deep in it, but then just, like, explain. Oh, just. Like, you cheated or. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe you're just, like, Wrong time, you know, wrong time we started dealing. I get you. Yeah, because you know, stuff just happened during the period of time. Number two. I have no exes. Green name? Yeah, dog. Never been in a relationship? No. This guy's capping. Number one, if I got pregnant and told you it was your baby, what would your reaction be? Um, it's not my baby. We were celibate. Would I wait? Yeah, I'd wait till I told you, yeah. Would you wait till marriage? Yeah, I'd wait till marriage to have s with you. But see, in the meantime, everyone else can get in it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Nah, I don't believe it's set for marriage anyways. So you're a virgin? Yeah. Really? Why, you, why don't you believe what I'm saying? What's wrong with being a virgin? What's wrong with being a virgin? I never said there was anything wrong. You're trying to wrong. shame me for it now. Just, just make why are you getting right? defensive? You wanna, you wanna... Number two. Would I wait? Wait, if you said you were a Mm-hmm. Just because you said it doesn't mean you mean it, innit? So, <laughs> not, necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily waiting, just more postponing. Do you get it? Actually, actually, no, I'm a good guy, so it's my baby. I take care of him, obviously, take it to school, actually. No. When it gets older, what I'll do take you mean, it to school. Oh. <laughs> so, like, no, I, I'll take it to school, but, like, not on an everyday basis. You know. Why not? Um, it's your baby, too. It's my baby, too, but, like, you know. I can't do everything. Wait, so you're saying you take care of the baby? Yeah, but not every day. Sometimes yeah, it's meant to be 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. Number two. I'll be like, rah. That's mad. But of course, like, I can't do anything about it. So, I'll take care of the kid. Wait, what do you mean you can't do anything about it? Like, you knew what you was doing, so... Well, first of all, I don't make mistakes in it, so I'm not going to bust in you by mistake. Oh! If I did make a mistake, then... Tragic in it, but I'll take over the kid and I'll be there for you because you're the one that's carrying the child in it. So it's going to be best stressful for you in it. But I'll be there for you. Number one, if you cheated on me, would you tell me and how would you tell me? So you don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> if I cheated on you, why would I tell you? If you don't already know. That's just me breaking your heart. Why would I want to do that? So you would keep lying to me, basically? I wouldn't lie to you, I just wouldn't bring it up. But then you not telling me is basically lying. Because you're supposed to be loyal. She's supposed to be shaking at that phone. If you're at the top of your game, why would I need to cheat? The more the merrier, innit? Number two. Number two. Why would I need to cheat? The more the merrier, innit? Um, I don't believe in cheating girls. <laughs> I just said the more the merrier. Chill, chill, chill. As I was saying, I don't believe in cheating girls. I think girls' hearts are a very sacred place. Hence, I wouldn't cheat any girls. If you cheated, it wouldn't happen. So I can't. No, give you an no, answer. no, no, no. If you did, would you tell me? I couldn't tell you because I don't think it would never happen. Okay. Number one, would you tell me if I didn't look good, and how would you tell me? A hundred percent. I will tell you. I'll tell you straight up. If you look bad, then I'll tell you straight up. If you look bad. Wait. I think she means if you men were dealing. Yeah, yeah. She, when you were telling her, up. But how though? Just oh, tell you her. You look bad. You look bad. Number two. I'll be straight up as well. 
Yeah, be like, nah, it's not that thing still. Yeah, like, I just be like, don't, it's just not that thing, innit? Like, this should be like, nah. Yeah, just don't look nice. Yeah, I just don't look nice. Number one, does body cam matter? What's your body count? Body count, baby, I'm not like, when it comes to that, <coughs> what you did in the past before I met you, then why should I let it like, affect our relationship? You feel me? And what's my body count? Yeah. My virgin. And number two, um, body count. See, I don't think it matters because really and truly, you could tell me yours is free, but it could be 29. So, would I really know what, what your body count is? Did you get it, fam? So, it don't matter, in my opinion. Wait, wait, wait. What's your body count? I'm a virgin. Are you guys just saying it or? No, I'm a virgin, but no sex to marriage. You get it, fam? But unless you want to change that, then. Did you get it? It don't matter, I'm just trying to make it one more, innit? <laughs> one more? One more? That means you. Alright, uh, you just bait yourself out. One more, as in add one to it. You're fucking idiots. What's wrong with both of you? One yeah. more though. That means there's. That means there's someone already, and exactly. you're trying to make it one more. Aye, right, boy. It depends on what you mean by body count. Cause. <laughs> so now, out of these two, who would you pick to go through to the next round? Number two. Why right. not number one? He's not nice. He's just not nice. Out of the five questions, whose answers did you like more, and who would you eliminate for this round? I'm gonna pick. Wait, what one's on this side? One, one. The one closest that's... to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's number one. Yeah, happy number one. To go through to the next round? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 why? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, why? So you're not um, happy? No, no, I'm happy, yeah, but like. Wait, so why why would you pick number one? Like, what did number two do that you didn't like or say? I won't um, pay for it. Yeah. So because of that, then you're hey. going to be number one. Yeah, because that was the only thing that just... I was just like, mm. So if he said that he would have paid for you, then you would have picked him? Yeah. Okay. I told you I'd take care of the kid in that, man. You're going to be number one. You're going to be number two. Cool, cool. Number one. What's your perfect height for a girl? You might as well say the perfect height and ask them what their height is. Like, hey, in one. You know, you're right. Actually. What do you mean? Two. Like, you're saying what's your perfect height. Mm -hmm. Ask what their height is as well. Number one, what's your perfect height for a girl and what's your height? Um. I'm cool. I want to say my height first. <laughs> Obviously, man is a small guy. I am. I can tell by your voice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um I am five eight. Uh, yeah, five eight. You're not that small. But I like tall girls. So you want your girl to be taller than you? Nah, I just like tall girls, but you know if my girl Same like, height? If my girl yeah, if my girl's the same height, then that's fine. Number two. I'm like five nine, I'm gonna say. You're I'm like five nine, five nine, five nine. Are you sure? Hundred and ten. You're not adding anything to it now? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to go with 5 nine. As I was saying, 5 five for a girl. Like what? 5 four, five, five, Just like that. Number one, if we were dating for a year and you found out <coughs> like a month in the relationship I cheated on you, what's happening? All my respect is gone for you. Where? Cheating is a big thing. But you don't know how it happened. You don't know what happened. Obviously, I'm going to investigate it. I'm going to ask you, get the boy. Text the boy and all that, ask what happened, all that, and if you're in the wrong, I uh, just lost respect. Would you still be with me after? No. Number no. two? I can't lie after that. It's a rap still. So you're not going to talk to me after? Probably not. Because if you're there for 11 months, that's a drag. Number one, if a pre if a girl has a pretty face but no assets, would you would you go for her? I don't even know. It's a sticky one. I don't even know. Because you know that it's something you can work on that like, while yeah, being in a I relationship. Can. Yeah. So you could be that one person to change that. But if she if she doesn't want to listen to me, then I can't change it. So I don't even know. So would you go for her? Probably yeah. Probably go for her. Probably try my best to try to change her. Number two. What do you mean by no access though? Nothing going on for her. Nothing. No ambition. No whatsoever. No, fuck that. Come, come on, man. Can't be a clueless girl on that. So you won't go for? Nah, she got nothing going about. She's got a pretty face. Like yeah. Just a pretty face, no, of course not. You could change it. No, oh, I'm not, like, what's this like? It's a yeah. fact you're saying. I'm not creating a girl, I'm not, like. No, you can be a multi. Like, no ambition, no nothing. Because if you have a girl, I if, know you're going to expect that girl to like. If we vibes with her, if I vibes with her, and she's got personality and that, then that's different. 
But like, there's got to be at least something for me to go for because face isn't enough. Because looks fade, innit? So 25 years down the line now. Well, she still doesn't have she used to do. So she's got to have something about her. Cool, so now you came down to the final round, your final two contestants. Of number one and number two, who are you picking to win this whole thing? One's close to me or two's close to me, what one? One. One's close to me? Mm. I'm gonna go for number two. Number two, the yeah. one that's further away from you? Yeah. And why is that? Because he's too long. By one, yeah, so like he said he's 5'8. He said he's five my nine. mom's calling me. <laughs> I was feeling it a bit more with number two, so well, number one, you might as well step out of the room. <sighs> See you there, yeah, yeah, mom's right. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well with me in it. You saying you're right? I'm fine. Come, 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 come. So, obviously. Okay. These are all the mandem in the dates. You don't know which one's which, but of all of these guys here, who would you say looks the best? The one in all grey? Yeah. Say nine.